There are two places we need to look when removing the LinkedIn connection account to um, users' uh, logins here. So first thing we need to do is go to, into the Azure portal. We'll need to do all this as a global administrator. So go into enter ID here and then select uh, users. On the left-hand side here, you want to then select user settings and you want to scroll down till you find the option here called LinkedIn account connections and generally that will be set to yes, so you probably want to set that to no. You can do it for a selected security group if you want, but generally you want to select that to no, so there is no connection uh, between users or giving users the ability to connect their work account to a LinkedIn account. So we're gonna save that, and that will update. Now the other place we need to do this is we need to go into the admin center, so admin.microsoft.com, and then we'll need to go into the Exchange Admin. So select the Exchange Admin from the left there. And when that comes up, we are going to uh, need to go down here into the option um, for basically our uh, policies and so on, so that we can go in and uh, make those uh, changes. So that option we'll find under here under Roles. So go under Roles, go into Outlook Web App Policies, select that. And typically you'll only see one uh, OWA policy in there. There might be additional policies. If there are, you'll need to repeat this process on all those policies uh, to block it totally. But select the policy there and then go over here and select the option for manage features. And you'll see here there is a linked in contact sync option. And again, the advice would be generally to unselect that or make sure it's unselected and then save the changes so though uh, LinkedIn won't have that connection to the user accounts uh, in OWA. So remember two places to go and remove that connection setting. The first is in the Azure portal under users, user settings, and then LinkedIn account connections. And the second option is to go in and look at your Outlook web policies or Outlook web app policies, go through all of those and select the features and go in there and remove the LinkedIn uh, contact, contact sync.